Hi, this is Paul. I just wanted to share a quick video on what I learned about changes made to the Model 873 Bobcat with regard to drive shafts and axles. Um, this particular Bobcat is a 1998-873, and it is the style on the axle that uses the single bolt in the hub. Now, you've probably seen in newer Bobcats that some of the axles have a three-bolt design in the hub. Well, trying to save some money, I couldn't find the exact part I needed, so I went online and found a used axle with the three-bolt design on the end of the hub. Well, as it turns out, there are major differences between these two shafts. Right away, you can see the tapers on the newer style are much larger and take a much larger hub than the taper on the original style Bobcat design. The other thing that you'll see is the shaft size is considerably different. So obviously the chain in the chain or the sprocket in the chain case is much larger and uh, with larger bore and spline. And this is a smaller design. This one's about two inches. This one's almost three inches. So obviously the tube itself coming out of the Bobcat would be a much larger tube on a newer design Bobcat. This is the hub that broke off or the taper, lock, taper that broke off the shaft. Um, the original style with the single bolt design in the newer style hub you can see is not even close to fitting in there. So obviously they changed the design of the axle to strengthen it so that it is more robust. The bearing itself, once again the one in my hand is the original style bearing compared to the um, newer style that's mounted on the shaft here. There's just no way that that newer style shaft would fit in my older Bobcat. So something I learned. Uh, seals for the older Bobcat are, of course, an SKF 24-898 seal. And my bearing was fine, so I'm just going to reinstall this afternoon. Bye.